Hello everyone, Dr. J here and welcome to my channel. Tonight we're going to make a seafood feast here on the Blackstone Griddle. I've got some scallops, some nice uh, chili garlic shrimp that my wife loves, some asparagus, and some roly roly, <laughs> roly, roly food truck uh, rotisserie potatoes. We're going to throw those on here. I found those at Costco. They looked really good. We'll see how they crisp up on the Blackstone. I think it'll work out great. In fact, that's where we're going to get started. So let me bring you in closer. I'll show you what we got going on. So these are those roly roly rotisserie roasted potatoes. And these potatoes were made famous by the roly roly food truck. I don't, I'm, I'm telling you what I saw on the back of the package. I've never been to the roly roly food truck. I have heard about it, but I've never been to it. These potatoes roast underneath the chicken that they have on the rotisserie grill. And that chicken drippings comes all over their potatoes, flavors them up nicely, and they've got a rosemary salt blend that they use, rosemary sea salt blend. So we're going to cut this package over and get them started here on the grill. You can see some of that chicken fat in there congealed up, ready to season these potatoes up nicely. Oh, it smells nice. These are already fully cooked. We're just going to be adding some color to them and getting them ready. I've got some asparagus we're going to throw down here in just a second as well. The scallops and the shrimp will cook up super fast right at the very end of the cook. Here's that asparagus that I've got. I've got it coated in olive oil with some salt and some pepper. Just something to uh, season it up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and throw this on the griddle. Let it start cooking up. few minutes we'll turn those potatoes around and get them uh, browning on all sides. Give them a little turn see how they're starting to look. Try to get a little color on there. They'll stand to stay right where they are for just a couple more minutes. And we'll start swinging them around. Definitely going to get some crispiness everywhere on there, which will be really nice. I'm going to go ahead and take this asparagus. Flip it the other direction. So the stems, I'm a little hotter towards this direction. And intentionally, I want my uh, griddle good and hot for my scallops. And those stems are pretty thick. It's going to take a little few extra minutes to get that asparagus completely cooked. As far as temperatures go, and about 465 over here on this side. I want this a little warmer. About 364, about 100 degrees difference between this side and that side. Right here in the middle, I'm splitting the difference, a little over 400 degrees. Put a little extra sea salt on there. black pepper our internal temperature on our potatoes we're in about 155 degrees 130 there 125 so we've got just probably another five seven minutes somewhere around in there we should be good. We want to hit that 160, 165 range, make sure we're good and cooked through the middle. Keep tossing these around, try to get as much color all the way around that we can. Make sure that asparagus get some love. We are looking good, guys. We are looking good. Alright, so our asparagus is looking good, our potatoes are looking wonderful. Those are just about ready. Now that we're getting to the very end of the cook, we're going to cook our seafood. I'm going to lay down a little canola oil, spread this out for everything. Inside's good and hot. 
Let me get these scallops down first for our scallops. We've got these really nice jumbo sea scallops. They're just, they look fantastic. And I love a scallop. My wife, not so much. But they're one of my favorite things on earth. Just gonna put a little sea salt, a little black pepper right here on top. Just like so. And I'm gonna get these dropped face down. I want a good hot heat. So it starts to sear these right away. I do not want these cooking very long. Some of the smaller ones I'm gonna put closer to the side. Bigger ones closer to the middle. Ooh, that smells good. Got one more here that does not want to come off my napkin. There we go. Go ahead and season this other side quickly. And then I've got some 1620 red shrimp, easy peel. You've seen me use these multiple times. This has got my chili garlic seasoning on it. A little soy sauce, Worcestershire, onion pepper, onion, onion and garlic uh, powder, and some chili garlic sauce. Very little, you don't need much with the shrimp. Go ahead and throw these down. Get them scattered out. These shrimp and these scallops are going to cook, quick, cook very quickly. All right, let's go ahead and get these scallops flipped over. Nice sear. Oh yeah, those are good. Potatoes the last turn here. Get back here, guys. These potatoes look wonderful. Give our asparagus one more flip. Looking good. Oh, look at the color on that shrimp. Asparagus. There we go. Slide this around. Let's get these potatoes. Let's take a look at that right there by itself. Just those potatoes and that asparagus. The color on the potatoes is gorgeous. This asparagus looks fantastic. Yum. come off as well. well guys I tell you what that is a seafood feast let me get this plated up we'll come back and give it a taste well there we have it guys we've got those wonderful potatoes and nicely cooked scallops perfectly cooked shrimp and some nice asparagus if you eat the green stuff Let's see how this tastes my absolute favorite, favorite seafoods on the planet 
is a scallop. I love a nice tender scallop. And these, you can see they're nice and translucent right in the middle. Steam coming off of them. Super tender. Nice and sweet. Absolutely melts in your mouth. Fantastic. Mmm. Those shrimp. I love my chili garlic shrimp. Look at the color on those shrimp. Golly, that's good. <laughs> wow. That is delicious. And then these potatoes. First time having these potatoes, they look and smelled wonderful uh, as they cooked on the griddle. Mmm, nice and tender. Very potatoy still. I was afraid they'd be overtaken by that those chicken drippings. They're nice, very, very nice. And that asparagus, I'm gonna leave that for my wife. That's for her. Thank you guys for joining me as we cook this delicious seafood feast. Mmm. If you like what you saw today, give me a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as I'll be putting more videos out shortly. Thank you again for joining me, and I'll see you next time.